Servus beinand, ich bin's, der Nick. Today I will show you how I cast dipsticks. Some things will look mysterious, but you will understand them later on. So let's start. In the background you see the necessary protective gear. Always watch your safety. First I have to skim off the dross and check the temperature. I'm almost going there, but 50 degrees more and I can start casting. This casting is quite sensible to the right temperature, both of the mold and the metal. Here's the Terminator goulash and let's start. So first I have to put together the two halves and then insert the core with the stick. Clamp together the mold, remove some new dross and finally pour. It takes some time until the metal solidifies, so I have to wait a bit. After that I can remove the core and open the mold. To pull out the core I'm using an automotive tool that is normally used for separating joints on wishbones. While the casting cools down a bit more, I'm already preparing the next core with the stick and put it near the oven so it keeps warm. Adjust the stick out and put it aside. Open the mold with a few blows with the mallet and this time I was lucky, it directly fell out. Normally I have to use that abused screwdriver to get the casting out. So here's the mold. It's made out of cast iron with two dowels for alignment. It is a bit tricky to get the channels for the part itself right. Sometimes you get turbulences and you have to increase a channel or make another one. It's try and error. Here's the core that also holds the stick itself. It's made out of two halves which can be clamped together. Here I show you how I insert the stick. And finally how the core fits into the mold. You see that the stick is twisted at the end, so it stays put in the final part. That big blob at the right end works as a riser. A simple wooden chick so my gloves don't get too hot and a stop to adjust the stick out. And here's the finished machined part. Oh, I forgot to mention that this is a zinc casting. I'm sorry. Until next time. <laughs>